DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting for me to episodes 11 through 13 of my time. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 11 and 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, happy birthday! Do you not have a birthday? It's September 7th. Hmm. Well, dang, girl. <laughs> that is so Ari, ain't it? Yeah, because she's never, from what I'm guessing, has ever called Sergey by, you know, her actual, his actual name. Oh, well, that's easy. That's Ari. <laughs> Please tell me it's not the same day as Nina's. Same day as Nina. I know. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, Aida. <laughs> You still did good. Oh, I thought somebody was behind her. <laughs> I was about to 
about to say, like, oh, we just stand in there for a hot minute. <laughs> but thank God Ari did good. Same thing with Nina. <laughs> Excuse me. Maybe because they don't want to understand. Exactly. Because anything could be in there. No, because he's working for the prince, right? So it just still makes you wonder, why does the prince want that data? He wants it for something, but is it also something to connecting with Ariga? Because is it on Ariga? Because he does want Suri to look for her. Well, the princess, which is Arika. Oh, come on, Nina. It's your birthday. You're supposed to have a party. Really? To your dad, right? It's beautiful. You never know until you try it on. Oh. Your birthday's tomorrow, too? So not only Nina and Machido, now Arika? That is crazy. Nina? But see, Nina doesn't know that her dad is, you know, already his Patreon. Or patron. (laughs) 
Yeah, but you still gotta work on your birthday, baby girl. I mean, do you think she cares about how handsome this prince is? Just like, psh, do I really have to do this? Like, most people just want the day off on their birthday. What damn, Nina? Don't take that from her. Exactly, he took it. Oh, you took my itch? Better the hell. <laughs> I don't have time for that. Damn it, kid.
God damn it. Come on. be anywhere. But Nina! You're really going to leave that in a telephone booth? Oh, the what? There should be survey, right? Nothing. Look what I found.
but next time keep it around your neck. Mm-hmm. Oh, Nina. <laughs> oh. He seems cute, but a little arrogant, though. I mean, but... We ain't gonna know until we get to the next episode. But uh, thank God Sergey found the necklace. I mean, we're really the pocket watch slash necklace. Really, but at the end of the day, Nina, put it around your neck so you can wear it every single day. And so it's not in your pocket and so another little kid doesn't take it from you. Because, of course, if it's something that is your most prized possession and you are willing to do everything in your power to get it back, put it on your neck. Put it on your neck. No one can take it. No one can take it. You can immediately know... When something is wrong and when it's taken because you can feel somebody around your finger, around your fingers, around your neck, about to grab it, something. And then you can put the, the hands to a face and then it's right there and they're like, okay, I know just who to go after. It's not a mystery or anything. You're like, boom, okay, that's the person. But something also tells me one day, whenever this show, when we reach the conclusion of this show, Nina's going to know about the connection of Arika. And her father, Sergei. And the fact is that Sergei is Arika's patron. 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 That's the word, Deja. Patron. Because he, like, it, it's already weird enough that she, that he is also sending her stuff. It's already even weirder that all three of these girls have the exact same birthday. Oh my god. Like, me and me and my friend, we have the same birthday on the same day. And then if you count, like, a couple of celebrities, it's, like, five of us. Five of us. See, I honestly thought... Okay, hold on, no, no, no. Looking at that preview as well. Um, is the prince actually a princess? It wouldn't surprise me, one. Two, I thought that the guy, the little boy, or the boy is the same age as Mashido... I thought that was the prince, you know, secretly doing like, okay, you know, like in Aladdin, you know, when um, Aladdin goes around like pretending to be a prince and then there's one moment where like at the beginning of the movie um, where he dresses as, you know, a common street rat because he is a street rat, but um, trying to avoid the necessary like um, commotion and such so maybe that could be a reason why i'm not 100 percent sure on what it could be but of course we're not going to know until we watch the next episode but yeah i really thought the birthday episode was enjoyable i wanted to, i still wanted a party though or something because it would have been nice but i get it you know you crunch for time but thank god nina got her watch back that's all that matters at the end of the day that's it but go ahead and pause the video and i'll see you guys in one second for episode 12 Okay, episode 12 in 3, 2, 1, go.
Yeah, he even so- he kind of sounds like a girl in a way. Yeah, I mean, you know, my show is gonna, could be anywhere, but <laughs> y'all need to find her ASAP. <laughs> no, the <laughs> girl is missing. Arika. Yeah, that's a little impossible. Does anyone really look like Machido? Huh? Ari? I mean, yeah, you know, in the end, she is the real princess, and she can be a princess for a day, quote-unquote, until we find Machido, because, you know... Chick can be anywhere, but... It feels like it got colder in here. No, I think she's fine. Just hungry. Oh, you look pretty. Like anybody is gonna fall for that. <laughs> oh. Oh damn! <laughs> damn, Nina. Actually, 
already cut in her face like. <laughs> well, you're near a dock. Oh. Yeah, but not that you know of. <laughs> but you're hungry, though. You're that boy. Well, we just using everybody's name today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're already in too deep. Yeah, let's not talk about that again. Of course. Yeah, uh, yeah, because it is still your right there. The poster? Oh, fuck. They're gonna know that she's a fake. Aww. Hey, at least it's something better than nothing, so appreciate it. <laughs> oh, so you're the person they're looking for.
He's so cute. But he might be the enemy. Natsuki. Even your name sounds like a girl. It's possibly a unisex name. But you know, because, like, yeah, there are a lot of unisex names out there. Because, I mean, he's the one who bought it for you. Yeah, well, that prince has the rest. So your older sister is dressing as you, the prince, and you are actually the prince. Of course! I was right. You know, is anybody going to find out about her? Like, oh my God. Because she's a bad guy. <laughs> exactly. Something about that. Prince isn't right. <laughs> yeah, but when she takes a bath, someone's going to find her out.
<laughs> the cat. I mean, you could have just given it to him any other way by, like, kissing him. I mean, damn. No. No. I mean, it's fairly obvious, but you know. Yeah, I don't think you want to destroy it. <sighs> kind of look like Ariko. Let's hope you do. I mean, because honestly, he had a really good time with Mashiro, but because of the fact is that, you know, 
situation happen and you know her finding out that yeah he's a prince and how do you you feel like everything that you did was a lie with him but she also lied to him as well she lied about his name and what she was and who she was so of course yeah it's a double-sided sword and it's not only that it's a double-edged sword it's a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation. And I get the fact is, yes, of a reason why. It's very similar to, you know, um, oh my god, when, uh, in Kogia, and Suzaku Kurugi met, uh, Princess Euphenia, and Euphenia was like, no, I'm gonna change my name, like, this is my name, da 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 and then eventually he finds out, and such, and it's so cute, and he's like, oh, they're so shippable and everything, and then, you know, that tragic ending. I hate talking about that ending because I love them so much. And no matter how many times I rewatch Kokias, I always get sad when we get closer to Euphemia coming into the show because you know how she ends. And it hurts. But yeah, going back into this episode, this was really good. I, I just... Arika, you did a good job pretending to be a princess for a day, even though, yes, you are the princess of this story, but you just don't know it yet. You're going to find out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. Mm. Uh, no comment on what the heck I just saw. Cause oh, something's about to go down. But I, I, I'm, I'm trying to wonder. Like, okay, what Arika asked, um, Nina, what the red? I think it was a red something. Like, let me check real quick before we go into the next episode. Um, let's see if it'll let me go back. Kind of around like right, yeah, right there, right where she gets hurt. Let me go back. Um, yeah, fire stirring ruby. Okay, that of course, I'm guessing has to be something with Atome, of course, because what else could it be? Because I mean, of course, Nina didn't answer Arika about it, but she was just like, you know what? Hey, shut up. <laughs> Now's not really the time to talk about this, but I'm guessing, you know, probably when we get to closer and closer to the end of this series probably that's when we're officially going to talk about it but whatever it is hopefully it's good but we ain't going to know until then but go ahead and pause the video and i'll see you guys in one second for episode 13 okay episode 13 and three two one go oh pudding oh, i want some pudding You're not hungry? <laughs> What's wrong? You can tell. Mm. No, Akane would definitely make some mistakes when it comes to Kazu because she loves him. <laughs> Cause see if they find out about her and him like she has to quit being an atome right i mean because she hasn't clearly had sex with him yet but she has to keep their relationship on the down low because of the fact is what she is so they probably just don't even have that much time together
But if you want to be with Kazu, you can retire, though. See, it's already awkward enough that, like, maybe Nina has some feelings about her father, but now it's a possibility that, you know, Arika has feelings? Like, uh, oh, are you okay? Oh! Hmm. Well, you fainted. No, no, you're fine. It might just be sadness, jealousy.
which is the same thing with her. Put her cunning. No, no. You want to be with him, don't you? I know that you want your dreams as well, but you want to be with him. It's a good question.
No, fuck. She's gonna find out. Why would they be, I can't speak. Why would they be recording that though? Her evidence? Right. Sometimes it's dangerous to be in love. Oh. 
But it's not what you want. It is. Oh, you say that now, you know. Most of us females will be like, yes, we're going to be be the top bitch, independent, discover our dreams, da 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 not let a guy or a female get in our way, and the next thing you know, love just comes. And sometimes you can't do anything to stop it. Yeah, you love him. I don't know how this is going to go, though, because, you know, he's an adult, he's still a child, but... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Poor Nina. Nina, like, what the hell? <laughs> but at least Akane is happy. That's all I wanted for her. Well, that's a really interesting way to end on a cliffhanger for this week's episodes, but... Oh, but still, I am happy for her, like, Akane. I mean, still, it is a damned if you do, damned if you don't decisions. There are pros and cons with your job and your career and falling in love. Because sometimes, in a way, yes, 50 out of 50, you can have it all. A very successful career and a love and sometimes you can't and sometimes in the end you have to choose your career or the person you love and sometimes you know like okay <laughs> one of my favorite movies is kind of very similar to picking your love or picking your career and I remember at the time when I was I think I was I was in middle school when the movie when the devil wears Prada that's the movie came out and my favorite character, she ended up choosing her herself and her love, really her loved ones, over becoming someone else in her career. So at first, I was all okay with it. Then one day, I re I think around the anniversary for the film, I rewatched the film. I, I've rewatched this damn film religiously. But uh, during the anniversary, I, re I decided to rewatch it. And I kind of changed my mind. I was like, if I was in her shoes, would I want to choose the love of my life or would I want to choose my career? And as a teen, I chose love. 
Now, I, I've chosen career because guys can come and go, but your career is there forever. And some and some people love their career more than they love their husbands or their wives and such, which is sad. You don't want it to, you know, become like that. But sometimes, in a way, you have to. You have to love your career as much as you love um, your significant other, possibly even more or at the same time. But there are some people, man or woman, who will get jealous of you being more in love with your career than themselves. Some people will be okay with you loving your career more than your significant other, and then some people won't. And 50 out of 50, if they don't, then yeah, unfortunately it ends in a very tragic divorce, you know, breakup, whatever. And sometimes you don't want that. But at the same time, like I said, sometimes you can have it all, and sometimes you can't. But whatever the heck is going on with the end of the episode, plus that preview, we ain't going to know until this weekend. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards after it's 11 to 13 of Maya Tome. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons. And next Tuesday for everybody else for episodes 14, 15, and 16. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.